So do you want me to ask? Do you want to ask me a question or? Yes, I thought that Leader Schumer's comments were bizarre. He voted for the same package that I did. President Obama urged me to vote for the stimulus bill that passed that year and indeed called me afterwards to thank me for my vote. I was one of only three Republicans who joined the Democrats and gave President Obama this victory uh, during the financial meltdown. So for uh, Chuck Schumer, who was intimately involved in the negotiations as the assistant leader, uh, to somehow criticize me for taking the same position that he did is simply bizarre. And I think it reflects, regrettably, his inability to accept the fact that despite pouring a hundred million dollars into defeating me, the people of Maine said no and re-elected me to an historic fifth term. I'm, I'm sorry, I missed the first part. Did you recut Gardner's comments specifically as you wanted 10 Republicans to work with the Biden administration to find common ground? I have a very good relationship with President Biden. I've known him for years. I like to get him very much. We don't agree philosophically, but we could certainly work together. And I think the best example that I can cite is I organized 10 Republicans to go to the White House with a very specific plan for $618 billion in COVID relief. We had an excellent worthwhile, productive two-hour meeting with President Biden. What did Chuck Schumer do? The very next day, he announced that he was going to employ reconciliation in order to shut out the Republicans altogether. He showed that he had absolutely no interest in trying to negotiate a bipartisan agreement despite our very sincere effort to put forth an initial package that could serve as the basis for negotiation. It's worth noting that last year we were able to pass five different COVID relief bills totaling nearly four trillion dollars by overwhelming bipartisan majority. Yet as soon as Chuck Schumer takes over as majority leader, we pass a highly partisan bill, much of which has nothing to do with fighting this terrible pandemic. I am going to continue to work with President Biden and his administration. I think, um, although I'm obviously more conservative than the president, that we have a lot of goals in common, and the infrastructure package is certainly one of them. So I look forward to continuing to work with this administration, and I just hope that uh, Senator Schumer does not continue to be an obstacle to bipartisanship. That's what the people of this country want to see. Thank you.